He'll walk right out yeah. to the sky. Yes, he will. He'll find us yeah. and carry us on home. Amen. He's got a cloud of glory. And we're going to all board it one day. Pray for a moment of time. I don't know how to preach. I don't. I, I'm just a man. So the Sean, and a very weak one at that at times. But Brother Randy brought so many wonderful things to my mind about God and how he speaks to the hearts of his children. And I, and I wonder sometimes, many times, as I, as I work through the week, I, I'm like Brother Jerry. Sometimes I get right by myself and just talk to him. Brother Joe, and I know you do too. Sometimes it, it's the sweetest feeling to know that he, you have a, a special connection with the King of all kings and, and you can talk to him. I hope you'll pray. I don't know how to start. Paul said, I don't know how to come in and out of such a great people. And you know, I, although there's just a few I've stood I've stood before when there's only three or four that I've had to stand. And I've stood before 500 maybe or more at times. And it's the same fear as there is a few, as it is by many. You know the feeling for the jury, for the rent. Brother D. Train, but what I'm talking about, Brother Jeremiah, uh, you, but you know, uh, it is a special feeling knowing uh, that you stand for the King of all kings, uh, the Lord of all lords. Uh, uh, there is a way better than this old world here, and I'm glad of that. Uh, I'm glad that I can say, uh, as the writer of old said, this world is not my home. I'm just traveling through. I got my tent uh, pitched toward the sea. Uh, I, I read uh, what you said and I watched uh, a little bit of a clip of uh, uh, this sister here's dad uh, dancing with his wife companion, uh, probably 80 some year old, and he said, oh don't put that on Facebook. Uh, he didn't want nobody to talk about him. Uh, but you know I read in the record of God where there's a time to dance, uh, a time to shout, a time to sing, yes, a time sir. to rejoice. Uh, but you know God knows our heart and he wanted to show you mother love and he did today. You know, but I, I can see Jesus walking along one day, Brother Sean, and I can see a little boy like yours maybe laying in a little coffin and Jesus coming into the city called name. And you know, when I first read that Brother D. Train, I wondered how far he walked. I don't know why. I thought that in my natural mind and I looked it up uh, from where he was at uh, to where he went uh, and then raised that little child and it was about two and a half miles he walked uh, and, th and then the thought came to me I don't know how far man is heaven is uh, but, uh, but one night he came uh, he came right down to my room brother Jerry uh, and touched me and changed me uh, and he raised me up that night uh, and I became alive uh, and alive forevermore yes, in Christ God. Jesus. Uh, oh, that little boy uh, laid there, Brother Ronnie, uh, in a coffin, his mother weeping, uh, had to take her only child uh, out to bury it. Uh, oh, son, uh, here came Jesus, yeah. right on time. Mm. Walked right over to the coffin. Uh, just touched the briar of uh, the Bible, said the coffin, uh, and told the little boy, hey, rise, lad. And the lad, uh, he sat right up. I remember, Brother Sean, when I cried mighty on him, he said, arise and follow me. I've been trying to follow him ever since. Yeah. Uh, It'd take, it'd take the Spirit of the Lord to preach a man. It takes the Spirit of the Lord to sing a man. If he sings with any spirit at all about him, it has to come down. Oh, friend, today, pray for a moment of time. I see him raising the sick. I see him raising the dead. I see him in Peter's house one day. And his mother-in-law all sick laying there. Oh, but Jesus entered the house there. 
And she immediately got up. Oh, well, I didn't feel too good today. I told Brother Jeremiah, you're on your own, maybe. And Brother Jerry's sick. I don't know if I can come. I don't feel real good. But oh, Brother Joe, I want to say with you, if I just got a little bit of breath about me, I want to say with you, Brother why? because I love you. You know, I, I, this is going out over Facebook, and I want everybody to know, you know, somebody is, is praying real hard for this little church here, and it's the brethren and sisters that's in her, but there's other people now that's watching this little church, and don't you doubt they're not praying, they're praying hard. I've talked to me on the phone, and they told me that they love to sit with us, that they love for us to sit with them, and I've talked to this brother here, I spoke to this brother, Brother D-Train, Brother Jerry, Brother Jeremiah, Brother Jason, and whoa, I don't know why I had a dream about an old pilgrim that wouldn't have been for us now, brother. Just to be honest, Brother Jerry, he wouldn't have been for us today if he were alive. But oh, brother, he's not dead now. He's alive. Jesus over on the other shore. The why he told me was, I said, Brother Ellis, you're dead. Where are you living at? And he had his arm around me. He said, Son, I'm not dead, Brother Jerry. I'm not dead. I said, Where are you live at, Brother Ellis? He said, I live in a big white house. You all see the oak tree in front of it. I don't know what that meant, but he held me tight right here. And he said, son, I've got some news for you. You're almost home, almost home. I, I woke from my dream, Brother Jerry. And I said, oh, Lord, I don't know what that means. If it's here on the earth, if it's in heaven, I'm okay either way. I'm almost home. Yes, uh, 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 children, I want you to know uh, I can see a time in the future uh, they won't jump on you coming here no more. No, no, no. I don't want the world to know who we are uh, children of the king. Right. We're children of the king. I don't want the world to know who we're born. We want the world to come and repent and be born again. Mm -hmm. I asked Brother Ellis again. I said, Brother Ellis, oh, where do you live? He just held me tight, you know. I said, Brother Ellis, I thought you was dead. No, 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 son. I'm alive. Oh, you ought to see my home now. Oh, I told him in that dream. I said, Brother Ellis, I drove up by your house. They sold it. And he said, I've got a new home now. That's you ought to see it. I want the world to know the home I live. Like the song, it's my home to the die. But I've got a mansion over there. I'm going to one day. When all is invited, yeah, man. I've got an old granny over there. I've got an old daddy over there. I've got loved ones in that city. Oh, man. They're watching from those windows and they're wanting you to come. They're wanting you to be with them one day. Why? There's peace there that the world don't know anything about. There's a joy there that this world don't know anything about. Oh, there's love there. All oh, this Father's there. The Son is there. Oh, the King of all kings, he's there. Oh, sissy, uh, Brother Anthony is over there, isn't he? The glory, glory, glory. If he can speak back, he wants me to tell you, uh, press on a little longer. 
I tell the boys, and Daddy's watching over me. I'm glad we've got an angel oh, that watches over us. God's got, got angels that are watching over us. I'm glad that, that stone that Jacob took, he is, it's that rock that Brother Randy uh, preached about. Uh, he laid his head on. He seen that ladder uh, uh, standing there uh, from, the, from heaven to earth. Angels going up and down those ladders. I'm glad for the betrayed those angels. Uh, they're still going up and down uh, that ladder. Uh, there are cries, there are prayers uh, to the Father. Oh, what are you praying about? <laughs> what are you praying about, Brother Joe? Oh, we want our children to come. Yes, we want our loved ones to come. Oh, Jesus said, come, taste of me, see that I'm good, and beside me, he said, I'm God, and besides me, there is none other, so I'm glad that that ladder that stood on that earth and reached heaven was Jesus, and he is the way from this earth to heaven. You have to get on that ladder. You have to climb. You have to go through by him. Yes, sir. Because he said, I am the door. Yes, sir. And if any man enter in, you have to come through by me. The Father sent me. See, God sent his son that we, as Brother Randy, as Brother Jerry said, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. There's so much life in Jesus. Away, There's so much joy in Him. Oh, how precious are our little children. But they're going to grow up, Brother Sean, and go the ways of the world. But we have to be a light to them. They'll never forget. They'll never forget. Daddy told me about Jesus. Daddy spoke about Christ. Daddy lived a life before me that I know. And that's what it's all about, Brother Joe. That's how we gain one another. It's by our life, touching one another. That's how, that's how it is with Ronnie. You may not know how many people you touch during life as you go along your way. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to mourn. Time to weep and a time to rejoice. There you go. There's some, the Bible said there's a time to plant, time to pluck up. Time to pluck up. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm living in the time right now that I can rejoice yeah. in my soul that I'm a child okay. of the King, yeah. that I'm a child of the Most High <clears throat> God. Glory to His name. He said, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. As he walked after he died, after he hung on the cross, after he was risen again, after his disciples seen him walking on the water, as he hugged them and he fed them by the seashore, even after all that, when he descended and went back and they saw him, and they said, Why, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing? The same Jesus that you see going away, he's going to come again. Even after all that, when we see the disciples, and we see old John out on an island, and he was on that island called Patmos, wasn't he? That was just a rock of a place where they mined uh, there. But he was all alone there, Brother Joe, and he heard a voice, but he wasn't all alone. And you see, because the great I Am will never leave you, never forsake you. And he heard a voice, uh, just like Moses heard the voice, uh, and he turned and John heard that voice and he turned and he looked upon him, beheld him, his glory. He said his head, his hair was white like wool, but white as snow. He said his garment was down to his feet, his robe. He said he had a golden girdle around his 
this patch here, but he had something written on his on side. His vesture, yeah. On his vesture, wasn't it? Uh, you know, and he looked at him. He said his eye possessed fire when I looked at him. And when he spoke, uh, when he spoke to me, I fell to his feet, he said, as I was dead. And he said that he looked, he laid his right hand on me. And he said, uh, fear not, John. I'm he uh, that was here and was dead. But behold, look at me. I'm alive uh, forevermore. Uh, but those writings on his, on his side were said, yeah. a king, a king, and lord of lords. And he is uh, that king of kings, that lord of lords. And I'm glad of that today. I'm glad no matter where we go in this land, uh, he is our king, our shepherd. Uh, that's why I can say, uh, you can have this old world. Uh, just yeah. give me the Jesus. Uh, uh, give me the Jesus in the morning. Uh, give me Jesus in the evening. Uh, when I wake up oh, uh, in the morning, uh, oh, I'll sing for myself and not another. Raise that little boy. Can you imagine how happy that little family was? Ronnie the mother. Oh, 